Hi, in today's video, we'll see how to capture a year 360 picture with an external 360 degree camera and of course, how to connect it with Magiplan so that you can create your virtual tour. Let's start selecting a year project. I already created this exact room with the app. We enter it, we tap on insert object we go down to annotations and we select the 360 panorama. We position it here where we are in our room. So we know where the picture has been taken afterward. We tap on photos and notes in the info section of the camera and we select the Rico camera. The app will guide us through. So you will know what you have to do. Turn on your Rico camera then we turn on the uh, wi-fi okay it looks good then we go ahead next step if it's the first time that you connect the uh, rico camera you just have to insert the code that you find under the camera in uh, the uh, settings that will pop out right now we tap on wi-fi settings give it a yes second we go here okay Perfect, it's connected. Now let's exit the settings of my tablet and go back into the uh, Magic Plan app. Okay, now when we tap on the Rico camera here, you will hear a noise and the picture will appear after some seconds in the app. Let's do that. Here we go. Now the uh, picture is loading and here it is. So we can now tap on the picture to take a look at our virtual tour. Now you see me here, but then you can move the uh, picture and you can see everything from the ceiling to the uh, floor and you can really see all the details. And then you can, of course, share this picture, this virtual tour with your colleagues or clients. If you want to add a 360 degree picture to your project, but you don't have an external 360 camera, don't worry, you can do it directly using the Magiplan app and the camera of your mobile device. It works like this. We will start selecting a project and entering the room where we want to add a 360 degree picture. We tap on insert object. We go down to the um, category called annotations and we select the 360 panorama object. We position it where we are in our room. This is more or less here, I would say. Okay. Now we tap on photos and notes in the info section of the object and we select camera. Voila. The uh, device camera will open. We have to rotate the uh, tablet in portrait mode and we can start. We tap on the red dot and we can scan our room. You see this blue toggle, this blue sign moving. So it tells you if you move too quickly, you see you have to go back and try to move slowly. So the app can scan your room properly. 50% is done. Let's go ahead. I try not to shake too much to be as precise as possible. One more piece of this room. We're almost there. Voila. So once the room is completed, then the app turns off the uh, camera automatically and you have the uh, virtual tour saved. We can take a look directly here in the app and we tap on play and here we are. So we see our picture. The ceiling and the floor are a bit, let's say, hidden but you have a good view of your room. If you're happy with your picture, perfect, you can keep it. If you think that it's a bit unprecise or there's an area that is a bit blurred, you can simply scan your room again until you have a good result. 
and we can also take a look at our picture afterward in the photo section of our project here. So you will have the 360 degree pictures listed here as any other photo attached to your project. If you attached a 360 degree picture to your project, now you can share it from the app with your clients or colleagues as an interactive PDF. So they can see the virtual tour too. How does it work? We can do it directly from our MagicPlan app. We select the project. Here we have the photo section. We select see all and we tap on this toggle in the upper right corner to export our 360 degree picture. We select the option PDF. We give a name to this PDF. Okay, we're happy with that. And we generate the PDF. Give it a second. Okay, the PDF worked. Now you can see here that you have a picture with a toggle called play. You can tap on it. And voila, the interactive PDF opens. So you can tap on play again and the picture will be displayed on your device and also on the device of a person that gets this project. So if you share it, right? And you can see here, you can really move around and see all the details of this room. And if you want, you can also access the virtual tour from the MagicPlan Cloud. So I exit the app and enter into my MagicPlan Cloud. Here, I select the same project where I want to see or to check the uh, 360 degree picture. Here we go. And you will find it again as in the app in the photo section. So you can tap on it, tap on play and take a look at your virtual tour. And that's it. As simple as that. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.